One of my fellow subscribers shared this amazing problem with me. We have an equilateral triangle whose vertices lie on the x-axis, y-axis, and the point 20, 25 on the coordinate system. The problem was asked in the 2025 Math Counts County Level State Competition on the target round section. It was the final, and therefore the most difficult, question. Nobody was able to solve it, and many were wondering if it was a mistake. He then said that he asked Chat GPT, and it gave him a 35-step instruction list until it ended up on an unsolvable quartic equation. Assume the coordinate of the vertex, which is on the x-axis, is A and 0, and is labeled as A. Then the coordinate of the vertex, which is on the y-axis, is 0 and B, and is labeled as B, and this point is labeled as C. Whatever he is saying is absolutely correct, because I also asked the chat GPT the same question, and received the solution which ends up in a quartic equation. So, he asked me if I could come up with a geometrical solution to this problem. By the way, he won the competition, and thus huge congratulations to him. So, can we come up with something easier to solve than solving this messy equation? The answer is yes. A few days back, I made a video on robotics where I explained the concept of rotation matrix. That idea stuck with me. And as I looked at this triangle with coordinates, I thought, what if we just rotate point C instead of solving the quartic equation? Let us see what happens. The key geometric idea is that in an equilateral triangle, because all the sides and the angles are the same and equal to 60 degrees, rotating one side by 60 degrees maps it onto the next side. See this animation. So, Let's rotate point C, 60 degrees counterclockwise, about point A, like this. It will land on point B. So if we consider this AC as a vector, and this AB also as another vector which is obtained by rotating point C by 60 degrees with respect to point A, then we have AB equals R times AC, where this R is also called rotation matrix, this is how we transform one vector to another by multiplying it with a matrix. This rotation matrix looks like this where theta is the angle through which we rotate the vector, and it is considered positive in counterclockwise direction. So, in our case, theta is positive 60 degrees because we are rotating vector AC counterclockwise. Using a standard trigonometric table, we have cos of 60 degrees equal to half, and sin 60 degrees equals root 3 over 2. So the rotation matrix becomes like this. Now the vector AC can be written as the coordinate of C minus the coordinate of A, or 20, 25 minus A, 0, which equals 20 minus A, and 25, and we can write it as this vector. Similarly, AB equals B minus A which is 0, comma, b minus a, comma, 0, which equals minus a and b, and we can write it as this vector. So if we multiply this vector with the rotation matrix, we get this value times this value plus this value times this value as the first row, and this value times this value plus this value times this value as the second row. So now we just have to equate first row of both these vectors and the second row of both these vectors to each other. We get this equals minus a and this equals b. Oh wow. We now have an equation in a, which is just a linear equation which can be solved very easily. So how cleverly we have reduced the quartic equation to a linear equation in a. This becomes 10 minus a, over 2 minus 25 root 3 over 2 equals minus a. Take minus a here, and this thing here to get a minus a over 2 equals 25 root 3 over 2 minus 10, which becomes a over 2 equals 25 root 3 over 2 minus 10. Multiply by 2 on both sides to get a equals 25 root 3 minus 20. 
Now simply substitute a in this equation to get b equals 20 root 3 minus 25, and we are almost done. Since we need to find the area of this equilateral triangle, we need the side length, which we assume as s, and then the area equals square root of 3 over 4 times s square. But how to find s square? It's easy. We can use the distance formula for these two sides to get the side length s square as this, which is equal to a square plus b square. Now I'm feeling lazy to show all the calculations because the main brainstorming part is already done and now we just have to substitute values. We get s square as this and finally area as this. My mind is really blown away right now. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Also, you can support my channel by joining our community and becoming a member. So good!